Hi everybody, it's Dan from Ink Gaming. Welcome back to Battletech. This is Season 1, Episode 10. And last episode was a short episode. We did a, a quick contract. And uh, we had some plans for the next couple episodes, which was getting the contracts done and maybe doing the story mission. So let's quickly go ahead and get into that. So I believe we had our two contracts available on this planet. Ah, yes. Okay, that confused me for a second. Uh, there was the one that's a travel. We're not doing that. So it was either destroy base first, which has got a large cash payout, it looks like. And we also have a battle. Um, we're going to go ahead and get, you know what, this one's worth more. Um, we're going to do this first, just in case the other one disappears. So let's negotiate. Interesting. I think we have the potential to get some cash bonuses here. Um, but there is quite a bit of salvage. So we're going to go with the two, just in case we take down a mech and can get two parts. Go with the two of eight, and we'll hope that the 106 uh, will get some percentage increases. This is a single skull mission, so I fully expect to maybe see some mechs here, um, definitely. So let's see what happens. Okay. I think we're going to stick with what we've been going with um, lately. I think it is a desert. It's going to be hot, um, but we will stick with, um, you know, the four mechs we've been going with now. Okay. And off we go. So I'm going to cross my fingers and tell you the plan, right? The plan is to do this one, which takes, quote, one day. And then the hopefully none of our mechs or pilots get damaged and have to go into either, you know, healing or refitting or repair. And then we will do the next one. And so that way we'll get some experience, some cash, maybe we'll get a mech. And hopefully then in the next episode, again, depending on how quickly these go, um, we will go into the story mission. Hopefully with, um, you know, slightly better stuff. So, if I recall the other mission after this one, which was just a quick, well, I should say quick, but, you know, it's a battle, which means it's, probably a lance, it's a half skull, probably vehicles, maybe some light mechs. Um, this one will be, I expect, the tougher one. Okay, sure there aren't any nearby reinforcements. Okay, so here we have a base, and they are suggesting there are some turrets, which I completely believe. The question is, um, are they just kind of peeking ahead here to see if I can see anything that looks like it? Can't say I really like this sort of uh, darkness, but uh, no, that's how it rolls. So yeah, I'm not seeing where the turrets are. And then there's a whole nother building over here. I don't know what that is, so. Radar station? I don't know. Interesting. Okay. So, again, I don't know why. I think that's just how dark it is. I wonder if there's anything I can do to improve that for you guys. Um, settings, maybe. Video. It, I could increase the gamma. Yeah, it just looks icky. You guys are probably going to have to manage through this. So we got forest over here on the right. We don't have much on the left. And, uh, you know, so there's some temptation to get up here. Uh, that's still pretty far away, though. So then we're probably going to end up having to go down. So we just may just sally our way up the middle. Just what they want, right? And again, we're going to do the same strategy as always. Well, almost always, right? Go ahead and just jump our way up and brace. As we know, especially for now, the Shadowhawk 
can be faster running, but then it doesn't get to brace. Similar, I believe, with the uh, Roger that. Panther. But, you know, I would not be surprised if we start hitting stuff next turn, so I will have to be um, appropriately cautious, let's just say. Lifting off. Yep, there we go. Quicker vehicle. I actually could. That'll just tell us what it is. Technically, we're not in combat yet. Uh, combat. I probably should have moved all my guys first, shouldn't I? Yes. yes. Roger that. Standing by. That was my mistake. See, nowhere am I going to have a line of fire. Well, oh, that's because we also don't have a sensor lock on it. Yes, Commander. I'm just going to jump these guys up and leave them in cover. Brace. Orders. Waiting on you, Commander. Yes, yes. I suspect you are. Time to fly. Waiting on me. Moving as fast as this little turn-based game will let me. Now, I could definitely move up, and I probably will. So what I'm going to do is... I'm not going to move up too far. I mean, I could move up there. That'd give me a lot of pips. I don't know where the other vehicles are. You know what? Let's do it. Bandits incoming. Uh-huh. Oh, right around the corner. Okay, so. Looks like he's got some armor. Yeah, I'm not too worried about it. We don't want to overheat. I'm going to take off a medium laser and a medium laser. And we're going to fire. Good, good. Again. Whatever threats we can take out so they don't damage us, don't get a lucky head hit. Um, you know, that obviously will not always be an option where we can decide that, but it would be good if we could. And we still can't see most of this stuff. Now, again, I could sensor lock just so I can see what it is. But we're just going to brace because it's a light mech. I'm going to take half damage if it comes around this corner. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this sucker is uh, it's a light mech and it's going to come around the corner. So I'm going to reserve. Waiting for the right move. Yep. Okay, it looks like it's a locust. It's going to get a shot. Okay, well, that was a miss. Happy hunky dairy. Really don't care about bad way strictly speaking but we don't care about um, locust parts I hate locusts I mean we can sell them when we reassemble them for money so in that way I appreciate a locust but so PPC is only at 60 uh, I'm gonna take the medium laser off I am gonna fire the other things he does have evasion going on okay so, you know, definitely did some damage, hurt the pilot. That works for me. Good to go. No, we're going to let Glitch go first. Fence. Is that a... That looked like a straight line. So we'll go ahead and go out here. Probably LRMs, AC-5, maybe? Let's see. Uh, yep. And he's got much more uh, heat capability, so I'm going to go ahead and fire everything. See if we get lucky with a chest hit. There we go. Bingo, bango, bongo. And stay down. OK, 
Okay, we still got what looks to appears to me to be a uh, tank on the hill. Um, so I definitely want to keep that in mind. Plus, we have at least one other enemy, whether it's a light mech or whatnot, I, I don't know. So what I'm going to do is I am going to jump over, say, to here. Give me two pips. Evasion pips is what I mean. And then I'm going to go ahead and brace. Standing by. And then it'll be curious whether he's going to be able to fire. We go, no, can't get up the hill. There's nowhere really I can go over there. Affirmative. So this will be three. I still won't have a shot. Um, and I'm going to go ahead and brace as well. So it looks like he's a... Got a sensor lock on me. Oh... Incoming missiles. Oh, that's a lot. Well, I'm glad we braced. So it looks like we've got at least one turret. Um, very likely more. And, uh, not, not real happy with that. So we will reserve. Um, again. I don't know why this vehicle is not moving forward. That's interesting. So, Waiting for orders. we do have a PPC if we can get up, but I don't think we can get anywhere where we would have a straight line on this, which is really what I want. Looks like I could get a straight line on that, though, so that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. quite a few evasion pips. So this was, one of these was the one with the missiles. Um, I'm going to take a look. So this is going to be an overheat thing. So we're definitely not going to use, we're going to just go with the PPC. I hope we get a good hit here. Nice. Destroyed. Fabulous, fabulous. Okay, so knowing that we're going to be taking missile hits, um, Yes, yes. Wish I could move you faster, but um, this is going to be sort of the extent of our speed so that we can continue to brace um, to have the damage. This is a little curious. Okay, so I can get a direct line on the one, but not the other. How about Decker? Decker could get a direct line on the one, but not the other. Okay, so what we're going to do, I think, is... Yep, we're going to max jump. Acknowledged. And, okay, so it's a light LRM turn. And it looks like we have a pretty good chance we're going to fire everything we got at it. Looks like there's another turret too. Copy that. One left turret. Ready for orders. Now the Medusa, unfortunately, uh, we're definitely not going to be able to get a line of fire, but I am going to jump forward as far as I can. Yeah. Wish I could get in front of the light, and I am going to brace. The light is not braced, unfortunately. Okay. Looks like we're going to get to go again. The uh, no sensor lock, maybe it was because we destroyed that vehicle. I still don't know where the last garrison vehicle is, and we have two. It wouldn't shock me if there's a third one there, but we're going with two right now because that's what we can see. I am going to go ahead and reserve. So we can all move together. Waiting for orders. And EG. Yeah, you just got real heat issues. What can I do for you? Well, I wish you could get forward to be able to fire at something, honestly. Really what I wish you could do for me. 
We'll just have you jump forward. No sweat. I'm actually tempted. I don't know if I could like just like they didn't attack last turn. So I'm really curious whether I could just like brace, brace, brace. Try it. I'll do what I can. Um, if I can brace, brace, brace and get some of these Engaging. folks with heat down. Holding here. Yep. Okay. So they can't lock. So that's good strategy. So now we have people who have, you know, Holding. PPCs and other speed. weapons and their heat is a lot further down. So now we plus the one guy, I probably could have moved the one up. Hi. This is good, maybe. Yep. I can now get up to where I could fire. So, welcome to the battle, Glitch. In the Shadow Hawk. Ah, but I don't have that one. Okay, so, well, that's fine. Nope, don't care about the building. Yep, this is what I care about. Nice. Maybe a finish. Nice. Very nice. Bye bye. Okay. Standing by. Now Medusa. Yeah. Not gonna be able to get close enough. Um, but I am gonna jump you up here. And maybe preparation of closing the gap next time. Grayson. Okay, how about you? Yep, you still can't get close enough either, but we'll bring you up. The nice little brace as well. I'm not destroying the buildings yet, because as far as I'm concerned, I'm going to take out all the, you know, guns first. Hopefully that makes sense. Now, I could actually fire this turn, but it looks like there's two turrets. So rather than risk the panther, um, I am going to, you know, I'm just going to brace. Stabilizing and bracing. And he'll go with the group. Because next turn we should be able to uh, push up on those two. Hopefully. So we're going to reserve. Ah, here's where our missing vehicle is. Can we take that vehicle out and not engage? No. You see, that guy's definitely going to sensor lock us. Good to go. Okay, what if we say, oh yeah, 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 but that's going to get close enough to engage the other thing, so, uh, I guess it's time. About, aye, aye. so. Good to go. Deuce is going to be able to jump enough to get a number of fields of fire. So, let's have Medusa do this first. Jumping. So, two SRM-6s and two flamers, and that's got the AC-5. Uh, I think you sound like a nasty threat to me. And I've got a pretty high chance here. So... But I'm going to make sure you die. I don't have multi-target, so we're just going to... Well, <laughs> there's no assuredly definitely dead. But, yep, congrats. Okay, so that one's gone. That one's gone. Uh, it's copying me. Oh, I can go really far forward, but I wonder who can actually get a line on that second gun. I don't know that anyone can. Or that I have any issues with that. So we're actually going to go like here. Let's see what we got. We're going to actually, even though it's going to add to the heat, and it's not a great chance, and we're going to... Good, good. Okay, so we've destroyed the pirate garrison. We have at least that one more um, turret. And I 
don't think I we can. I don't think we can get to it this round, but. But what we'll do is we'll close in. Hopefully that means it can't fire at us because it can't lock on. That's just me hoping. So I will brace. And, you know, technically. Jumping. Okay, bracing. Observe. Thought. There we go. And who wants the fun? Well, how about you? I think it's, well, you know, if I can't get an angle, then it's not going to be you. Ready for orders. You got all the heat problem. You probably got a heat. See, I could jump out all the way there. That looks like I get a shot, but I don't know that I can fire PPC. Glitch we decided couldn't get there. How about you? Could get there maybe with medium lasers. You know what we're gonna do? Same thing, guys. Conservative. System. Okay, we're we're nice and cool again. Roger that. Digging in. I think it was uh, EG. EG, EG, you're our pal. Let's see if you can take this boy out. Okay, so. Nope. Okay, two SRM sixes, eighty-five percent on all these things. Good, good. Okay, so that was four guns. I'm going to assume there are only four guns on here. And I think these are the buildings we need to destroy. So we are going to do that. Ready for orders. Yes, sir. I know you are. But you just fire away. Attacking from position. I'm reading heavy damage to an enemy structure. Bring it down. There's one. Mm -hmm. Structure down. It's history. Sure do like to talk a lot, don't they? It's very confusing. Oh, because we're out of combat. That's why. I'm like, um. Engaging coolant system. Ready? Okay. Here we go. Oh. So close. Yes, Commander. It's so far. Why don't you finish that off? Already confirmed. Great. Fresh real estate available. Wants to go next. You can go next. Very good. Target building destroyed. What do you need? I actually need you just to brace because you got heat issues. You can fire. Nope. Roger that. Firing on target. Close. Waiting for orders. Yep. Target acquired. Flatten that one. Uh -oh. There we go. So, telling us to get the evac zone, but hopefully because we've killed everything, yes. He's going to collect us from where we are. So, success number one, folks. Good work. Did take some LRMs, but uh, didn't get hit in the cockpit, so didn't penetrate our armor. So we got some payment increases, which meant we, rather than 100,000, we had 143. Got some rep. Great, great, great. All that's good. 
So we get two priority ammos. We will take the locust just because, in theory, I'm guessing if I put together a locust, we can sell it and it'll be worth a decent amount of money. Now, I believe I was building, uh, you know, an SRM boat. Um, and I don't know whether I have SRM ammo or not. Um, so I'm just going to pick that up. Uh, yeah, there's other stuff here. And, you know, we'll obviously get some of it because we get more loot. But that's what I'm going to take. There we go. Yay. Wow, small lasers. Um, okay, whatever. There we go. I want to move on because we want to get in the next mission. I think we can cover the next mission and get that done. So it's all in one episode. Hopefully um, not screw it up. Okay, so we're back here. Um, I could spend XP on folks right now, but like I said, um, we're going to roll the dice and uh, just head right in. So this was the other one. It was a battle in the Badlands. So we're going to negotiate this. It's a half skull. Um, we might see a light. I doubt it. So I'm probably just going to take the money and the limited salvage. We're going to go with everybody. Same same deal right now. Let's get on down to the planet. Now, I do wonder, when we start to get up to two, three skull battles, things like that, I wonder whether they're going to take substantially longer. I don't know that the maps ever really get that much larger. Um, that, that could be a disappointment who want to see more of um, sort of a strategic kind of thing going on. Um, and, of course, I know there are people who are disappointed that you only ever get one lance. That's it. Four max. That's all you'll ever be able to drop, regardless of how many reinforcements and things they bring at you. Um, you know, and there's people who want to, you know, have a lance of heavies and a scout and, you know, that kind of stuff. But, you know, them's the breaks. Maybe they'll do expansions or DLC. Who knows? So, again, it looks like it's right up here. Chances are there's probably one on the wing and one on the wing. And, you know, who knows? But we've got a lot of forest here. So I'm kind of tempted just, um, I think we will, since there's some rocks here, maybe we can use as cover. We're going to head over there to this forest. We'll still keep an eye, you know. Got it. And I would actually expect that we're going to run into folks really soon. So It's a pretty open map. There's not like some huge ravine, corridor. It's good that we didn't meet anybody this turn, though, because obviously we're not going to all make it over to the woods. So. Oh, I did a jump jet, which is fine, but I just, you know, sometimes I run the Shadowhawk, right? Okay. We're going to take the guys in the back first. Just because they're behind. Engaging jump jets. Confirm. Just keeping everybody kind of together. You know, that's, uh, you know, the obviously the goal is, or, well, at least my, one of my goals, and that's uh, usually a common one, is to be able to focus your firepower, take down enemies, so, you know, that you have less firing back at you. Now, unfortunately, it does not look like we are going to manage to run into something. I had kind of hoped, but we will sort of continue. This is the border, but we'll kind of continue down here and see if we can kind of get into that rock. Whether we could just suck them in. Let's see. Roger. Yep. So we got a vehicle. Uh, have no idea. 
the other vehicles are, but uh, we just brace and we're going to brace. Okay, we got a light mech. So what we're going to do is we're going to reserve here. And then, okay, so two vehicles and a light mech, at least. Yep. Yep, we're jumping you back, my friend. Jumping. See if we can suck them in. System. Okay. Taking a protective stance. Yeah, yeah. Slight mix, not super fast. I'm thinking maybe a locust. Um, okay. So have they almost all gone? No. Let's go ahead and reserve everybody. Let this last vehicle go. And then what we're going to do is we're basically going to take a turn. And if I don't know if we can get up, I'll be very curious. If we can get up high enough to fire on this light mech and we can take it out, that'd be great because then we'd be able to move before most of the vehicles in the following yeah. turn. Now, I don't know that that's... Oh, well, uh, he will definitely be able to. How about you? Yeah, well, now mind you, we do have limited places on the rock. Good to go. You might be a problem. Of course you are. Ah, oh, but I could jump you over here and it looks like you might have a shot on that vehicle. It's not the worst thing in the world. So do we commit? Of course we commit, right? So we're going to is jump. Yep, jump will give us more evasion. So we're going to jump over here with the Shadow Hawk first. And now we can see this, and we have a shot, and it's a Scorpion with an AC-5. We're going to fire these two weapons at it. And good. So one vehicle down. Good job. That will be one less mech that can focus fire on the... Um, what do you call it? But, uh, you know, that's probably fine. So, do we want you? I just want to make sure there's enough spots on that rock. So, that's one, two, and it looks like as long as you can get to one, and you can. So, that's fine. So, we'll actually have you jump the furthest ahead. Here we go. Hi, boys! Okay, we got a spider and a striker. So we are going to um, focus the spider. Could use our precision strike. Right, why not? Ooh, and unfortunately I completely forgot about the extra evasion bonus and all that. So he doesn't have a whole lot of center armor, and honestly we just want to kind of get this over with. Okay, we definitely uh, did not take them out, but, uh, you know, we weren't fully expecting to, honestly. And we're going to go only this far. Hoping that's going to help give the PPC a little range. And we want to aim for you, too. Yep. And we'll fire everything. I don't mind. Oh, and we don't have enough to do a precision, do we? Okay, that's fine. We'll just take our chances. If we get center, looks like center. Oh, oh, it was probably braced now that I think about it, so it took half damage. Waiting for orders. Yes, you are waiting for orders. We'll go here. Lifting off. Okay. 
And it looks like, what do you got in the center now? Ooh, ooh, almost all gone. But will we hit the center? Let's see how you like this. Nope. Okay, so we, we you know, hurt it quite a bit. Um, we did not destroy it like we hoped. Um, what I'm confused about is I see, okay, yeah, I see three reds. Ah, that's because there's a vehicle up there. So we are not going to reserve on Decker. In fact, what we're actually going to do is, I think we are going to jump for evasion purposes. Um, like here. And I'm hoping I have enough heat. This is the risk. I want to fire that PPC. Serms off. Ooh, I can't do that. Damn it. I could fire those, or I could brace. I'm gonna fire. Taking the shot. That was bad judgment, but that's okay. Ooh, that was a pretty hefty hit there. Uh, I did not penetrate the armor. But we do need to concern, you know, be concerned, obviously, about that. Um, but we also need to, obviously, um, take this, uh, our friend, out. So I'm going to move him back, is essentially what I'm doing with this. But I... Only enough to get a couple of evasion pips. Then I am actually going to precision strike. And I'm going to choose the center torso. And this is obviously way too much heat. There. So quite a few things firing at it. You would think. Yeah. Okay, good. So that's one more menace gone. We definitely still need to uh, take out the striker vehicle th this turn so that we can have, uh, if not both, that would be, you know, way better. I am curious right now. I wanted to fire at you. Hmm, it's not bad. I don't have any evasion bonuses. Not a bulwark. Yeah, let's just do it. Wow, that's uh, Waiting on you, Commander. you know, I guess how the cookie crumbles, is that what they say? So I am going to try and get uh, this guy in front. Uh, I am hoping that means I that um, they will target the Shadowhawk. Um, now, I believe the Shadowhawk probably is going to be able to take this guy out. Um, I do have multi-target, but I don't think that... Uh, Take a look, yeah, he's not, you know, he's um, not uh, available from a sensor perspective. We're going to fire everything even though the LRMs are only 50%. Let's just um, try and take as few chances as possible in taking these guys out. Yep, you did smoke them. Smoke them if you got them, I guess. Okay, so if I don't go, I think he's going to get to go first. But we're probably not going to kill him here, so we need everybody. Yep. He's going to fire. Hopefully he fires at the guy up top of the hill. Yep. And it's a big miss. Good. Okay, so this should be a, you know, a tromp. Ready for orders. we got a lot of people with heat issues, though, so... Shouldn't... Shouldn't be over, uh... Yes, Commander. Now I can jump you forward, uh... Huh? Let's do it. Firing if you remember, I did fire SRMs, I didn't fire the PPC, so I think he's probably got enough heat now to fire the PPC. Um, which... Ooh. And so I lied. Damn it. All to, you know, all to all. Locked on. Okay. Yes, yes, I'm sure you are. Now, what do 
What do you need? What can I do for you? Oh, you got an AC5. Yeah, yeah, let's get in the trees. And get up right here in your face so that way you're like, hey, let's fight this guy. Now, we can't take a aim shot. Maybe that's what we should be doing. Just increases our, um, we don't need to save it for anything. Um, 24, yeah, yeah. Oh, wait, no. Oh. My bad. What's the highest percent chance? It looks like the front. So let's just do it. Everything will fire everything. That's good. Okay, good. Beautiful. You like that? Yeah, I do like that. You and me, same page. Okay, so that was fabulous. We got those two missions in. Uh, we took a little damage on both, but it was just armor damage. No pilot hits, no injuries. Look, we got another 100 and, uh, 100 can cash so that sort of got us back above the million you know when we're paying so much every month um good here so we get one savage we'll take the spider part obviously and then we'll see whatever uh the rest gives us this that and the other thing not a lot okay well that was pretty good what we'll do is just like what we uh typically do we'll take a quick look at the pilots Maybe make a decision about uh, um, taking a skill, attribute point, whatever you want to call it. And um, then we will save because I think we will be doing the story mission, even though we don't have new uh, mechs, but we'll be doing the story mission next time. So looking at Decker, Decker's up to 3,000 at this point. So we can either give Decker a, a second um, skill if you will, um, or we can um, actually increase his tactics moving towards, you know, like a second skill here. Um, I'm actually probably going to move Decker. I know it sounds like a scout guy, but I, I think I may actually move Decker into a heavier mech and uh, make him into a bulwark. Um, and so I'm actually going to go ahead and do that. And then EG's got 1900. He's got the, a similar thing, whereas, you know, do I go with another skill? Where am I going if that's the case? He's got the multi-shot. Um, I actually think I may move him also, get a second sensor lock, moving up to Master Tactician or maybe going to breaching. So I'm going to go down here and do this. That way, if we do move Decker, um, you know, we got another, shall we, shall we say, um, uh, follow-up. Which is still short. Yep. And Medusa, who is already a bulwark, um, hmm, Master Tactician or the Multi? I think we're going to go here. Okay. Training complete. There we go. Fabulous, fabulous. So now our Mech Warriors are ready, at least skilled up as much as they're going to get. Um, which, of course, increases our monthly bill. We're up to 265. Uh, there's nothing to look at for the max unless I wanted to try and refit them, but then that would take time. Um, not just time on the episode. I could do it off episode or whatever, but then you'd want to take them out for a run, for a spin, right? See how well they perform anyway. Um, so just to confirm here, though, guys, um, now there's two travel ones. There was one, Detroit and Detroit, but we're not going there. Escort and uh, battle. We're going to be doing our One Skull story mission in the next episode. So hopefully you guys were happy. We got two done. We got some money. Uh, we got some XP. Um, went very, very well. And I'm looking forward, very excited about doing the story mission next. And that will happen in the next episode. So I just want to say thanks for watching. And we'll see you next time.